Hello and welcome to the first ever tutorial on the DWSIM. So, <clears throat> today's uh, topic will be about this uh, problem. A stream of saturated vapor at 100 kilopa is to be compressed to a pressure of 500 kilopa. Given that the compressor efficiency is 75%, find the work required and the properties of the exit stream. So, the first thing that you might want to do is, of course, launch your simulator and then click on Create New Simulation. Okay. So, the first thing that you will uh, see is a simulation configuration wizard. Just click Next and at this page, it will ask you for the uh, components that are involved in your simulation. So, you click on the search. Uh, Blank here and type water, and it will give you a list of uh, compounds that are uh, related to the water. And uh, you may want to click add, and you can add as much uh, compounds as you want or component as you want. And click text, <clears throat> and at this uh, page, it will ask you for the uh, property package to be used. So you have this uh, the Kessler, Peng Robinson, uh, Nartia, Uniqua. But uh, for water, as a standard, this is used. The IAPWS-IF97 or the or just dash 97 alone. And uh, just double click on that or you click add here and then click next. So this page will ask you for the uh, desired units on your simulation. You can change this uh, later on but uh, I'll just go with uh, SI. So when you click finish it will bring you to the uh, flow sheet page Okay, and maximize that. So the first thing that we want to do is to add a material stream. So click and drag it to the flow sheet and double click on that and you will have this uh, uh, window pop up on the left side of the simulator. So we know that the uh, feed was defined only by pressure. So we go in the pressure, pressure and vapor fraction. Okay. Since it is just a saturated uh, stream, you just have to go to the vapor phase mole fraction and set it to 1. And the pressure is set to what is it? 200 kilopa. So, sorry about that. So, that's it. Okay. And the feed stream is now fully specified so we want to go and add a uh, compressor so that will be under pressure changers and adiabatic compressor just click and drag and then add another material stream you can rename these uh, streams if you wanted to just click on them and rename this object let's say in this as that. So since this is a compressor, it requires work to function. So you just have to add a, an energy stream. So let's say E1. Okay. So click on the compressor and you just have to specify the inlet stream as in, outlet stream as out, and energy stream as E1. So, it will ask you for the uh, calculation parameters. You can choose the uh, pressure increase or decrease. But uh, for convenience, I like to select outlet pressure. So, since the outlet pressure is 500 uh, kilopa, 500, and then go to kilopa. So, the efficiency is uh, 75%. <coughs> 
so I think everything is now fully specified click on solve okay so let's go to the properties of the uh, compressor and the power required is about uh, 241.7 kilowatts so <clears throat> and the outlet uh, properties are given here if, when you hover your mouse there or when you click there you will see the uh, stream conditions at the outlet thing so it will have a temperature of 516.8 kelvin okay enthalpy specific entropy so let's say you want to see these uh, units in uh, English units so just go click and edit simulation settings go to system of units and choose ENG okay or you can create your own units but we will not do that for now okay so that will be all for the very first uh, simple simulation on DWCM